Hello there, welcome along. This is Top Tip Tuesday brought to you by tipsquirrel.com. Now, I make no secret in the fact that I'm not a trainer, but I do like to collect little tips and then pass them on to you. And this is one of those little things that you may not need quite a lot, but when you need it, you do need it. So this is one for your toolbox. Okay, so I've got a couple of words here, toffee and apple. And what I want to do to this is make it look like a bite has been taken out of some of the letters. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this on a layer mask. I'm going to come down here and click layer mask. And then using black as my foreground color and my bite shaped brush, which I created a little while ago. I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger. I'm going to click on one of the letters. I'm going to do the top of the T here and just click a couple of times just to get a little bite mark. Now that's all well and good, but if we take a closer look at that, what we find here is that uh, we've got the bevel going around the teeth marks. Now that's not what I wanted at all. What I wanted was it to be beveled and then a bite taken out of the bevel as much as the letters. Now there's a few ways that I can get around this. I could flatten the layer and uh, then put on the bite mark, or I could separate the layer effects from the layer itself and work on those, uh, but uh, which I described last week, but that's not really keeping the flexibility. So what I'm going to do is actually a much, much easier way of doing it. Let's just zoom back out here. If I go back over to my layer effects and double click there, and you can see I've got the bevel and emboss. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this box right here. Now the tooltip hopefully will come up. Use layer mask to hide layer and effects rather than shaping the layer and effects. Well, that's exactly, exactly what we wanted to do. The shorter one, of course, layer mask hides effects, which makes sense in its own. So when I click this, if you watch the T, I click on that and there we go. Let's OK, and let's zoom back in on there like we did before. And you can see the difference there. So we've taken away all the layer styles as well as the layer itself. Now, this isn't a sticky command. So next time we create another layer mask, that won't be selected, which is good. I actually like that because you don't want it all the time. In fact, it's very rare that you do. When you're masking out, you usually want to mask everything. In this particular instance, we don't want to. So let's zoom back out again. And now with our brush, let's open that and we can, uh, whoops, we can rotate that just a little bit and then come back over. Oops, sorry. Uh, we can come back over here and uh, just take out a couple more bits and bobs. Uh, rotate that just a little bit. And come around to there. And once again, just take out a bite mark or two. Okay, and there we go. Well, you get the general idea. So double click, highlight the button, and there we go. You can see the difference. Right, that's Top Tip Tuesday over with. Don't forget you can find all manner of things at uh, tipsquirrel.com by a lot of very good writers, and I'm indebted to them all. Go along, have a look, see who's there. Don't forget you can also post any questions to Ask AJ. That's the, its own separate page. You can find that at the tab at the top. But come back every day, Monday to Thursday, and you'll find something new at tipsquirrel.com.